Hey, welcome to this tutorial on Formidable Forms, one of the most powerful form builder plugins for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how to create, install, and manage forms using Formidable Forms. So first things first, you want to go to your WordPress dashboard. We want to go ahead and install our plugin. So click on Add New Plugin. Search for Formidable Forms. Formidable Forms. Once you find the plugin right here, you want to go ahead and click on Install Now and Activate. As you can see, I've already done that. And now we want to go to the Formidable Dashboard. Click on Dashboard. And we're going to click on Add New. So this, these are the form templates that Formidable Form offers us. And as you can see, there's a ton of different templates that you can use. So 319 to be exact. And if you are using the free version, the plugin that you just installed, then most of these, uh, most of these forms or these templates are actually going to have a little lock on the side. And, you know, if you do want to use the pro version, I am going to leave a link down below. That way you can go ahead and use that link to upgrade to the pro version. It is an affiliate link and it does help this channel grow. So um, I do appreciate if you do use that link, but it does offer a ton of different templates that you can go ahead and use for your business, depending on what you do. So let's say that you run a t-shirt business. This is one of the forms that you can go ahead and customize. So for example, let's view this t-shirt order uh, form template. Pretty straightforward. Look, we have the t-shirt order form template demo right here where, with our t-shirts. All you really have to do is just Click on use template and customize it to your liking. All right, that's it. That's pretty straightforward. Now there's a ton of different other templates that you can use, but of course, that's not what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how to create a simple form using this, the create a blank form button here. So I'm gonna click on that. As you can see, we have all of our fields here on the left-hand side. And what I want to do is actually create just a basic form. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and use this paragraph uh, widget or field. So just wait for the little blue line to pop up then just drop it in there. I'm also going to um, collect people's names. So collect their names, collect their email address as well. And finally, I'm going to collect people's phone numbers. So I'm going to add that in there next to the email. So for the email, what I want to do is I want to go to these three little dots here for more options. Um, wait a minute. Right here, field settings. And I actually want to make this require field. So people do have to put in their email address before this moves forward. And, um, Require confirmation, no need for that. I'm just gonna, you know, just people put in their email and that's it. And then for the phone, I'm gonna go ahead and also click on field settings. I'm not gonna make this a requirement, but I do wanted to show you that in the format right here, you can actually click on the drop down and select international. Now, what that's gonna do is it's gonna show you the flag of each country where the person is located. And it's going to give you the little number or the prefix or country code, as it's called. And that way, the person can just type in their phone number without having to put in any other numbers. All right. Now, finally, for this form, I just want to go ahead and center this button over here at the bottom, the submit button. Click on field settings. Just on default, I want to go ahead and click on center. It's not going to show right here, but we're going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to give this a name so contact form click on save and you can style this if you like so for example you have some options here that you can select i'm not really going to go into that you can also click on the edit style there's more options here on the left hand side that you can go ahead and look through and um yeah that's pretty much it then once i'm satisfied with how my form looks i want to go here to settings and in actions and notifications you can see here they have a confirmation and it's send email so both of these options are here are turned on so confirmation just means that the person is going to receive this message here once they complete the form 
So your responses were successfully submitted. Thank you. And then for the uh, email confirmation, this email confirmation just means that you as the admin or the owner of the website or the form, you're gonna also receive an email letting you know that somebody has just filled out the form. All right, so right here, as you can see, it, it says two, and it's gonna have, it's gonna send it, the confirmation to the email that you have added in your WordPress general settings. So make sure you add the right email there. All right, so once you have that ready, just click on update again, and we're gonna get out of here. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new page so that we can add our form. So I'm just gonna give this a name. I'm gonna say contact form. All right, this is gonna be our contact form page. I'm gonna click on this little ad block button here. As you can see, formidable forms is right over here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then from the drop down, I'm gonna select mm -hmm. the form that we just created right here, contact mm -hmm. form. And boom, there it is. This is the contact form that we created. And just click on publish, view page, and this is it, guys. This is what our form is going to look like. So people are going to be able to put in their information right here that we requested, their email address, their phone number. They're going to be able to put in here some words and just click on submit. So they're going to get this confirmation message right here. And you're also going to get a an email confirming that the person just filled out the form. That is it, guys. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more WordPress plugin tutorials. And if you have any questions or need help, make sure that you drop a comment. I do look at all of my comments. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.